I think it's a very strong squad of players. No real surprises, I guess, as far as you're concerned. It doesn't vary that much from the last squad that we selected, albeit, of course, that in the last squad we didn't manage to have all of the players with us when we went to the Ukraine and not, not even all of the players for the Moldova game. But I'm, I'm happy that at the moment things are looking very good squad-wise. Obviously, two very important games. We, we don't need to, to even debate how important these games are to us as a, as a team and as a, a footballing nation. But I'm very hopeful and very confident that this group of players, as long as they come through the weekend's games, will be the ones that will, will take us there. And I'm also very happy that the support at Wembley will be, be fantastic. It's been wonderful really right the way throughout. And I think both games are going to be sold out. And that again, I think, will be something which not only shows how important the games are to us as a footballing nation, but it also shows how keen the fans are to back us up. Well, I was pretty excited before the, the last two important games. I was watching Sturridge, I was watching Rooney, and I was thinking these two players are in great form. And, you know, there's lots of, lots of uh, goals in them in the sense that they can create goals through their individual ability, their individual brilliance. And luckily we lost them, but um, hopefully we won't this time. And that's backed up, of course, by Lambert, who's done well, Defoe. And uh, Danny Welbeck, who I thought played very well against Moldova, but of course we lost him to that very unfortunate second yellow card. Can I ask you for your thoughts on Joe Hart? There's no doubt he's a fine keeper and he kept five clean sheets before the uh, Manchester derby. But he has made one or two, I suppose, high-profile errors they could mm. be described as. Are you, are you concerned that they might affect his confidence? Because he's very much a, a confident kind of person normally, isn't mm. he? I think goalkeepers are always going to be in that situation, really. I mean, forwards to some extent as well. You know, the forward who hasn't scored for a long time or who's missed a few very, very, in our opinion, clear-cut goal chances. Uh, the goalkeeper who lets a goal in which people think maybe he should have saved. I'm afraid these are the people in the firing line when it comes to confidence. And, of course, they're very much in the firing line when it comes to criticism because, to some extent, they're a little bit easier to criticise the goalkeeper for what you think is a mistake than maybe to criticise the midfield player whose poor play two or three moments earlier has provoked the goal chance in the first place. I believe that Joe will shrug this off. Um, I'm sure that he's not happy with the criticism. I'm sure he, he's not happy to have let in goals which maybe he thinks he, he, he could have stopped. But this is a, a fact of life. Um, as far as I'm concerned, he's never let me or the team down in the team in the time I've been working with him so I have every confidence and every faith in him that he will have the confidence if you like to to put this behind him but it's a it's a fair question and one cannot deny that your confidence improves with performances which get you rave reviews and unfortunately performances to get you criticized don't help your confidence but I don't think and I think you prefaced the question by saying the five games previously kept clean sheets. He kept a clean sheet against Moldova, clean sheet against the Ukraine. We've let in three goals in eight games. So it'll take a lot more than a bad game for any player before I start suggesting he needs to be uh, replaced by somebody, especially with our situation at the moment, because let's be fair, these games, we, we need experience. We need players who, who are tried and tested. We need people who play regularly at the very top level. And he, if you look at the goalkeepers we have, with those criteria, is clearly the number one. How much do you think it's going to be a case over these next two games, Roy, of not only the players, but the fans as well, I suppose, all holding their nerve? Yeah. The fans are important. They've been very, very good to us. Um, whenever we played at Wembley, I've always felt tremendous support. I thought the support in Ukraine from the travelling supporters was, was excellent. So... They will play their part, no question. We're grateful for their support. We, we really do hope they play a big part. And it's up to us, of course, to shoulder our responsibility and to make certain that we give them something to, to cheer and shout about. And that's what we intend to do. We believe we can do it. We are confident we can do it. Now, of course, it's a question when the referee blows his whistle, making certain we use the 95 minutes to do it.